Me too. Me too. I mean, that's the true title of every trip up to the open mic. For every tweet and blog post. For every pouty selfie that you pose for. Me too from a marketing angle is unfortunate. I mean the hashtag. Proper motto of every upstart little narcissist. Oh, oh me too, pick me please. Me too, looky looky at my cute little plate of sushi in a bistro on Blue Street. Me Too is a pretty good tagline for social media per se. Me Too, this trivializing title hangs over many serious tweets from true survivors of violence. Me Too is social media's caricature of feminist epistemology of a sisterly sharing of stories. When sisters interlink, they form a superhuman subjectivity, a god from whom we supplicants draw our sustenance. When sisters interlink, they speak a complex unison, an Olympian discourse we straining seekers may consult as, e.g., Saraswati the Hindu wisdom goddess as e.g. the daimon of Socrates or the benign AI that Philip K. Dick made contact with in the 70s. If God were to enter Earth space, we might infer it from a wide and spreading narcissism You'd predict that a nation would dissemble in the boasting cacophony of a million rappers, each proclaiming their own ultimacy. You'd find God's own self reflected in a million tiny shards, and we mistake this light we give off as local, as our own stardom. God were to enter Earth's space, you'd predict Kanye's actual awesomeness and his mic-grabbing tendencies. You'd predict the three Christs of Ypsilanti. Perhaps our world has been seeded and suffused with portable recorders, and every street corner now is a nexus of sensors and lenses because Earth life is being scanned and examined. Perhaps the planetary surface now is mapped at 40 frames per second and collated in the purview of satellites overhead. And our chattering souls are extemporized into tweet streams. Because we're all being scanned for a final upload. And physical meat space shall soon be virtualized. And everyone's saying, me too. I want on that mothership too.